All right, today I will be removing the oil pan and intake manifold and kind of top engine accessories. I will kind of go through it and point out the difficult things, especially taking the intake manifold off while I do that. But I'm gonna get started by just draining the oil out of the pan and uh, let that drain while I start taking all this apart. Oil filter. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bad boy off and then the drain plug is a 17 millimeter. You have some very smooth moves, my friend. Can I ask you a favor? Hmm? Can you teach a guy like me how to make all those cool moves? Like judo and kung fu. Uh -huh. my belt trying to get the uh, oil filter off so not as straightforward as one would hope um, I guess setting the pace for how this day is gonna go <laughs> All right, so I'm at a stopping point. Um, just figured I would go through what I've done so far. I did remove the coolant reservoir from over here. I removed the electronic boost control, the factory OEM one um, here. Now I'm taking the power steering pump off. So to do that, I removed the power steering pump lines which were connected to the intake manifold here. The one thing you want to be careful of when you're removing the power steering pump, obviously you want to take the belt off first and you sort of don't want to disconnect the line. I did because I'm going to have to anyways because this engine came with one that was cut, so whatever. Um, what you want to avoid is getting air in the pump, so don't spin this at all when this is open to air. So that's the one thing to be careful of. There's four bolts. Um, there's the bolt that you have to loosen to take the belt off that connects to the alternator. There's two on the bottom that are pretty obvious. And then the tricky one, so there's the last one that's holding it in for me right there. Can't see it, yep, there it is. Um, the tricky one is down here behind it, so let me zoom in on it real quick. It's right there. Um, in order to get to that one, I had to take this off so uh, I'm not gonna say what sensor it is because I don't know but it bolts in right here and basically just move that out of the way so you can get the extension down in there um, alright so now that I have this all taken care of I'm gonna go ahead and take the power steering pump off and continue with the intake manifold removal All right, so uh, the intake manifold is just about ready to come off of the engine. So just wanted to quickly run through the things that I had to do to get it to this point. Checking all the sensors to make sure everything that you need is disconnected. So once the power steering pump is out, it's really easy to get the coolant temp sensor, the oil switch sensor. Um, there's another sensor, so oil switch sensor. You wanna do the ignition coils or spark plug wires for me i had the i think and i could be wrong but i think this is the avcs solenoid so just disconnecting that camp hat or camshaft position sensor disconnected and the other thing to check for is the positive crank vent so that's these emission tubes coming from the valve covers um, with this crossover pipe so just get that out of the way to make it lift up 
be careful not to break anything. So that's why it took me so long. You wanna make sure the stuff is all super brittle and the hoses are brittle. So for example, I don't think I did this. I think it was already broken, um, but this emissions hose was broken. I broke one of the clips on the spark plugs. Um, but yeah, okay, that's enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and just lift this intake manifold off and that's probably gonna be it for today. Excessive force. I control that force through fluid motion. All right. So I got the intake manifold off. Um, it wasn't too, too bad. Um, it was a little bit of a pain just because I was taking my time to make sure I didn't break anything. Still a couple things got broken. So that was the spark plug wire for this guy here. Um, not a big deal. And then the emissions hose, that's cracked. I already pointed that out. But um, other than that, it's good to see the engine, how it is without the fake clean job. EJ20 Magic. Um, but I think that's going to be it for today. So I'm going to go through it in a lot more detail as, uh, as I go and start refreshing things. But that was a quick intake manifold, um, removal operation.